Law Warrior Armor, the Morigu Fire Support Vehicle. Overview. Khan Schmidt commissioned a new vehicle as a way of demonstrating that the Blood Spirits may have been knocked down by the disastrous Absorption War, but are not out. Along with the debut of the Crimson Langer and the continued development of their Protomech program, this was a firm step towards showing a strong, unified front to the rest of the clans. The name for the new vehicle was chosen by Khan Kariana Schmidt herself, drawing upon the Welsh ancestry that flowed so strongly in her veins, an ancestry revered as almost wholly amongst clan blood spirit as it flowed directly from Colleen Schmidt, the first spirit Khan, and to her from her mother Colonel Hanny Schmidt, the last commander of the Royal Blackwatch Regiment of the Star League, she christened it Morigu, named after the ancient Celtic war goddess, who was said to be wherever there was war. Khan Schmidt felt it a perfect name to demonstrate the spirit's resolve to destroy any who would make war upon them. Capabilities With the dual design requirements of delivery of maximum damage at maximum range, the Morrigan fire support vehicle mounts an impressive two extended range large lasers and two long range missile 15 packs, the two weapon systems most available to clan blood spirit in a turret. Though slow and lightly armoured for a vehicle of its size, its range and firepower more than make up for any lack of speed. For close range defence, a single short range missile 2 pack is mounted in each flank, along with an ECM suite for added protection. Deployment the Morrigan is being produced as fast as the York Vehicle Y2 facility can run. It's been deployed into every galaxy in the Blood Spirit Tauman, including the newly created Iota Galaxy. Retribution, additionally, uh, an entire uh, star of Morrigans have appeared in the 22nd Combat Force, a newly formed trinary of Kindra Mick Crease. Though normally known for their devotion to aerospace assets, this further demonstrates the growing ties between the Blood Spirits and at least one Kindra of Clan Firemandrel that it would be the staunchest of Crusaders is only appropriate, considering the Spirit's fanatical Crusader leanings. Variants, due to the successful debut of the Morrigan in several battles, as well as the sheer quantity in which it's being produced, a new variant has already seen combat against reigning elements of the Star Adders. This variant sacrifices all of the missile weapons, the ECM and two-ton of armour, to mount an additional extended range laser in the turret, making it the most energy weapon-dependent vehicle among the clans. Okay, so uh, before I go into this, I, I don't know whether what the writer was was on at the time when they decided that one, it's going to be called Morigu, which is 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 true, correct to a point, but is is actually it's Morrigan. It's it's an Irish goddess. Yes, it is a goddess of war, also known as the Phantom Queen. That kind of thing it has a few derivations of the name, but it is not a Welsh <laughs> god originally. It's, it's 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 very separated from the Welsh. It's 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 the it's not it's like trying to link it. Uh, it's trying to say like uh, Ceridwen or something like that is like Morrigan. They're two different entities entirely. Uh, I think somebody got very confused about the idea of of using Welsh ancestry, um, and and trying to uh, use something that yes, there has there were wars between the Cumbrians and the and those from the Isle of Ireland, but this is very, uh, very much. There would be a crossover of some of that Celtic mythology, but it should actually be called the Morrigan fire support vehicle, which is why I was saying Morrigan um, later on. In that, um, it's a bit strange as a choice because uh, there's a lot of cool Irish uh, myth and legend, but then the, the the Welsh do have their own set of of uh, different um sort of mythological creatures and stuff like the cauldron born for instance is a welsh mythological thing which is the name of obviously the ebon jaguar in the inner sphere so it's not unheard of to use that it's just this seems like a slightly incorrect use of of a, a character's bloodline background um but uh I'd, i mean I, I digress on this one as taz would say but it's uh, yeah. It it was just kind of odd to read about something that was very clearly Irish in its origin, and then attributing it to the Welsh. Uh, it's a strange one, but uh, yeah, here we go. It's an eighty tonner. Uh, it's a tracked vehicle that has a Fusion two hundred and forty. It moves at thirty two cruising speed and fifty four kph flank. Its armor is compound JX four. Its armament is two Series one extended range large lasers with two Type fifteen crossbow LRM fifteen launchers and two Patton J one SRM two launchers. 
manufactured by the York Vehicle Y2 facility. The communication system is the consolidated Type 2M with ECM suite, and its targeting and tracking is the consolidated Type 5 TTS. Stat-wise, then, it translates into a vehicle that moves 3 and 5 with 24 heat sinks. Its front armor is 63, while its right and left armor is 41. Its rear armor is lower at 28, and its turret has 35 armor. The two ER large lasers are obviously on a twin mount to the turret and the front there with two LRM-15s also located in the turret. So that's what those weird little eyes are that are dotted all around the outer sides of the turret there that you can see. It has an odd number of 32 rounds of fire for its ammunition, whereas its two SRMs are located that you can see on the side of the vehicle there, left and right, with 50 shots split between them, and the ECM suite located in the body of the vehicle. Don't mind the body of the vehicle, that looks fine. The turret looks a bit odd with the way that the LRM launcher is kind of attached. This weird kind of, it's very anime, I guess, style of the idea that all these missiles would burst off the side and launch out, go toward a target. The visual of it is a lot cooler than obviously what you see here, which is something that looks like it's got multiple eyes sticking out the side of the turret or weird little bumps. To be honest, the bumps, when I first saw it before reading the write-up, I actually thought it was a type of um, a reactive armor, because uh, you've got some of those AMS systems that exist that stop ATGMs that basically launch out and hit the missile before it reaches the vehicle, or it might have been a, like a laser detection system uh, to warn the crew about, um, obviously, laser lock-on, that kind of thing. But no, it's it's an LRM system, so uh, there we go. <laughs> As I said, it looks like two vehicles. It looks like the turret of one vehicle and a, and like the body of another, and they kind of merged. Uh, as I said, I don't dislike the actual tank model uh, part, but the turret looks kind of different. It looks like it, it should be on a different tank entirely. I'm not really sold on it, unfortunately. It's powerful, though. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's like it can look as ugly as, you, uh, as it could be, because if it can kick ass, it can kick ass. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, that. Uh, still the name, it gets me. I don't know. The the whole it should have just been called the Morrigan. I, I don't know what it was. Maybe Morrigan has already been used somewhere and they, they couldn't use the name again, but then this is Battletech where the names do get reused for different vehicle classes. So you could have a mech called the Morrigan, you can have an aerospace unit called Morrigan. Because you you just list it as the Morrigan, you know, air you know air superiority vehicle and the Morrigan battle mech, you know. So. So I don't even think that would be a problem. It, it just seems a bit odd. But I don't know. I guess the writer had a hard-on for using a, a Welsh version of a name. <laughs> I just kind of got it wrong. Um, it's not completely wrong, as I said. It's just it's just the, the origin of it is a bit off. It's a bit strange. Um, in Wales, it is called Morrigu, but the origin of that name is Irish, and the goddess is Irish. So, yeah, anyway, uh, have a good one all. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.